Okay, so let me show you what I've done with my uh, Logitech H800. So first of all, I bought this battery. Okay, so hopefully you can see all, um, yeah, all the specifications. This is 3.7 volt, um, 1,400 milliampere hours. So I think it's six times the original battery capacity. So this is from the uh, Fuji uh, camcorder of some kind. Uh, the voltage is exactly the same. Uh, it should be six times the capacity. That, and to be honest with you, I, I have tried that already. Um, I'm not sure how for how long it will hold, but it, it easily holds for at least one day of work. So I've been using that. I would, I would, um, I've been, you know, really extensively using, using it. And it, it holds, if you, if you charge it over the night, it just holds the entire day. Because that that was the you know it's a beautiful it's a fantastic uh, headset. The only problem with it was uh, after several hours it goes um, it goes the battery goes flat. So what I've done was uh, I'm not much of, of a soldering person, but uh, I disassembled the wiring from the old battery and I just attached it. I have attached it um, with my soldering iron to that new battery, right? It doesn't look pretty, I agree, but it works, okay? So the red one goes to plus, uh, the white one goes to whatever, to the middle one, and the black, black wire goes to the minus, okay? So now the problem was, how do I uh, fit that battery inside and that's why I put the battery in I'm not sure which way is it going to go but now it clearly goes inside no problem okay so it's going to be like that when I close it uh, and hopefully hopefully I will be able to close the headset and it's not going to be even visible that, that the modification is there. Okay, so uh, I will just try to do that right now and I will create another movie and I will jo join the, mo the movie so you can see the result. But I have removed, I have removed, I'm not sure if you can see that, I have removed that cover, right? That, that cover has been removed uh, just to gain a better access and then I've used that device the Dremel device to cut the opening for the battery okay so I've managed to successfully close the headset um, I've managed to uh, to lock it properly it doesn't uh, yeah, it doesn't open. It's 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 uh, closed. You you know you can't really see that it's modified in any way. You can see um, the battery there, uh, the 14 milliampere hours um, of battery, and I expect some 24 or more hours of operation now. And uh, I can't do that with one hand, but this this just uh, perfectly locks no problem as i said i can't do that with my you know holding my my telephone in one hand uh, but this you have to believe me this locks properly and you know now it's all done uh, the headset turns on properly and it uh, plays um, fine it charges fine so i can recommend that mode uh, to you uh, yeah so have a nice day thanks bye bye